Today I'll be doing a tool review on these Knipex wire rope cutters. And here they are and they are part number 9562190. This pair of wire and rope cutters are a definite must have for your small engine shop. I've had them in my shop for over a year. This way makes it easier for me to talk about them. I did purchase these on Amazon. You can also do a search online with the part number that I mentioned. Now these are approximately seven and a half inches long and they do come with a lifetime warranty. And here's a close look at them. They are made in Germany and they're fully cast. Now this pair here has the comfort grip and I really like the comfortable handle on these pliers. You can buy a version with this type of handle here although it will not be as comfortable. And they do come with a small lock. You just turn this back and they open up. And they are spring loaded as you can see here. And they do have some crimpers built in over here for some small ferrules. So basically these pliers serve as a cutter and a crimper. And here's a look at the blades here. These are extremely good quality and they won't splay your cables. They do a nice clean cut. And often cutting cables with the wrong cutters you will end up with cables like this. And by the way guys, if you do buy a pair of these, just keep them in your toolbox specifically dedicated to cutting wire cables. Don't use them to cut anything else because you don't want to damage your blades. And as expected from any Kinepex tools, they do feel of extremely good quality. And ergonomically, they feel nice as well in your hand. The most common things that I use these pliers for in the shop is to cut wire cable like this. And I also use them to crimp these wire ferrules and these cable end caps over here. And these cutters should be able to cut comfortably wire cable up to 13 64th. So that would be about this size here, just one step up from 3 16th of an inch. Now I do recommend that you use safety glasses when you cut with these because sometimes the wire pieces do fly up in your face. So to start with here, this is your basic bicycle 1 16th stainless steel cable. You'll find these on brakes and derailers on pedal bikes. And you're going to see just how easy it cuts through this. And as you can see, it's a nice clean cut. There's no splaying like you see over here. Now the next cable I have here is a 5 64th cable. And again, it cuts through that very easily. And the next cable over here is 7 64th. And you're going to see it cuts through there very easily again. And I've cut through all these cables with practically no effort. Now I'm just going to compare them to these side cutters here because a lot of people, including myself, when I did not have the pliers I'm showing you, I would use side cutters to cut wire cable. And the biggest disadvantage to cutting wire cable with these is that it's very hard to get a clean cut. Usually the cable is splayed. As you can see, it's not as clean of a cut as the other cutters. And even these small Kinepex bolt cutters here don't do as good of a job. They do cut it, but not as clean. So you do have to improvise if you don't have these in your shop. My point today though, however, is that you will get a clean cut all the time with hardly any effort with these cutters. Now I'm going to show you a few examples of how you can crimp some ferrules. You can see I've crimped some over here. I'll start with the end cap. And basically once you have your end cap on the cable, just use this part of the crimper here. Squeeze. It does a nice professional crimp and it's on there nice and tight. It's nice to have these end caps because it does stop your cables from splaying at the end. And I'm going to show you how to crimp these end caps that go on the outer part of a cable. If you do want it just a bit tighter on there, just use the other crimper. Just squeeze it a little bit. It makes it that extra tighter on there. And it makes your cables look professionally made. And I'll show you how to crimp these. Just insert your cable in the ferrule. I'm just going to make a loop here. So it's going to take a bit more strength to do this. And now you've got a nice crimp. And I've got the thinner ferrule with the smaller cable. Insert it in the smaller crimper and squeeze. 
and it's easier to squeeze in the smaller ferrule. And you're not just limited to crimping these ferrules, you can also crimp the smaller round ones. So in your shop these will come in handy if you're fixing bicycles, bicycle brake cables, derailers. Also if you're in a pinch in your shop and you need to make a lawnmower brake cable, these will work perfectly for that. You can also use them to fix some snowblower auger and drive cables as well. I like to keep a lot of cable and ferrules in my shop because they do get me out of a pinch sometimes. And these cutters here will be a great addition and complement to the pliers that you already own in your shop. And if you're wondering about the smaller bolt cutters here that I showed you from Kinipex, I do have a video review on those as well. And the link is under the video so you can go watch it. But I'm definitely going to recommend these wire cutters to anybody who's running any kind of repair shop. So thanks again for watching. I hope that my tool review on this today will help you to make up your mind as to whether you need these or not in your repair shop. Thanks for watching and also make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and have yourselves a great day.